What's going on, people? Hope y'all doing fantastic. So I'm just sitting here thinking, um, a lot of you guys and gals watch this video, th these videos, you know, not just me, you know, other uh, people and uh, truckers on YouTube, um, looking for inf information on how to become a lease operator or owner operator or, you know, however you acquire your truck to have your own transportation business within the trucking industry. Um, I just left it open like that. Uh, because there's different segments, right? So, and a lot of time, well, I know all, all the time, if you haven't experienced, you know, you haven't made that step, you haven't experienced the, pretty much the business side of things that, you know, it's, it, it's hard to grasp just from watching somebody on the, the video uh, taking in information that, you know, it, it really doesn't process until you're actually in that particular situation. So, my advice to you is, and I know people are going <laughs> to, I know people are going to disagree, but just hear me out. Here's what you can do. Go sign up for Uber or Lyft, right? Now, you're not signing up to Uber or Lyft for the money. You're signing up Uber to Uber or Lyft. I'll just say one of these ride share programs for the experience because, Trucking is a transportation business. You know, you're in the trucking is a transportation business. So is Uber, one of these ride share companies. They are a transportation business. Trucking is a service business. One of these ride share companies are a service business. Now with the trucking company, uh, the trucking side of things, you, things are just bigger. You know, yes, you can make more money, per, gross more money per se. Things are bigger, but there's also more expenses that are covered that are um, that come along with that. So how do you get the owner operator experience without actually in the trucking industry without actually becoming a owner operator in the trucking industry? Right. So this is where the ride share programs come in. You can go sign up for Lyft or Uber, one of the ride share programs and. And I'm not promoting them. I'm just using them because I know they exist. You can go sign up for one of them and check this out. They will lease you a car because I know some of you are just gung-ho about leasing a truck. So go lease a car from Uber, right? Um, go lease a car and go out and make a profit. I didn't say make money. I said make a profit. You know, uh, you're going to learn logistics. You're going to learn, you know, dealing with people. You know, if you're not accustomed to that, you're going to learn. Um, uh, basically, you're a contract employee. You're going to be a contract employee. You're going to get paid on the 1099. So my advice to you would be set up your business first. And then when they ask you to put in all your information, everything, you already have your business set up and then you can go from there. So now. Instead of you. um Instead of you just jumping right into, you know, the trucking side of things as, you know, being an owner operator or whatever, now you can just start out on the Uber side because, again, like I said, it's not about the money. It's about the experience. And if you can, if you can understand the fundamentals about how to run, <clears throat> excuse me, understand the fundamentals Shouts out to HG Logistics. The fundamentals of operating your business and running your business on the Uber side, then you can take what you learned over there and then you can bring it over here to, you know, uh, one of these uh, uh, trucking companies. Now, believe it or not, it's all the same. Now, what do I mean by it's all the same? If you, most people, when they get into the trucking business, they lease on to somebody. So... If you're leased on, you get paid a 1099. You're just using the company's authority. Uh, and pretty, pretty much, you pay for everything else. How does Uber work? You're using the uh, the Uber's authority, you know, pretty much. Even though you don't really have to have an authority for the, you know, the taxi thing. But you're using their authority. You know, you're using their their insurance and all that kind of stuff. Uh, like their uh, commercial insurance. So... You're a contractor under them. Same thing. You get paid 1099 
you leased on somebody, you get paid a 1099. So it, essentially, everything, it's all the same. The only thing that's different is the infrastructure is set up a little bit different. You know, instead of hauling freight, you're hauling people. Um, so th hopefully this is just uh, helps you understand, you know, and and maybe guide somebody in the right steps, you know, to becoming a business owner. Because at the end of the day, anybody can be an owner operator and pull freight, you know, all day long. It's not the, the, the problem. The issue is not there's no freight. The issue is there's plenty of freight, but it all doesn't pay what it needs to pay. So uh, if you want to get that type of experience, my suggestion would be to go over to Uber, sign up. Uber, Lyft, whatever, I don't know all of them, sign up uh, and see if you can turn a profit. And also, it's going to teach you logistics. It's going to teach you the different uh, uh, times when to run and when not to run as far as profitability go. Um, it's going to teach you about, you know, the, the uh, uh, gas mileage and uh, cost per mile and things like that. So... That's all for this one, and we'll see you on the next one.